So beat makers, right? Yeah. Let's say that you have a, a Mount Rushmore beat makers. Who who do you put on your Mount Rushmore? Like give me like four or five people. Uh we've we've typically on this show we've typically excluded Dilla. We just we're gonna acknowledge Dilla. Yeah, like, he's in a league of his own. We're gonna acknowledge him. But he's, like he's, just just give us like four or five beat makers that you feel like would be on your Mount Rushmore. On my Mount Rushmore. All right, so man, that's hard. So I would have to say just because um just because of my rap infinite was behind it. Kanye West, bro. Um, you can't you can't leave him out. I don't care how crazy he is. I don't care what's going on in his head. He's in tune with some things from the other hey, side. I'm man. telling you, dude. <laughs> bro, Kanye. He's in tune with something. Kanye has his toes in some of everything, my G. Yeah. Man, Goop. dude, dude is, yeah, bro. Yeah. Dude is nasty, dude. When graduation came out. Graduation's crazy. Dog. Yo. Dog. Man. I graduated and listened to that album. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's Bruh. what I listened to when I graduated from, the, from college. The first album that got me into hip hop music, period, was this album called B by Common. Yep. Yo, B is crazy. Every single song I can listen to. Yep. Yeah. And Kanye pro- Kanye produced it top to bottom. He went and crazy. It, it's, it, it's gorgeous, man. Yep. Yeah. So, got to put him at number one. Um, everyone else is in no particular order. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Y'all remember Nujibis? I believe that's how you pronounce his yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rest in peace to the homie, man. Um, he was really influential. Um, hearing a lot of his early stuff got me into that uh, lo-fi sound, as people like to call it. Um, who else we got, man? Uh, K. Trinata. He's yes, gotta go up there. man. Yeah, that's the first. Um, I'm a K. Trinata fan. Yeah, I love, like, I love K. Super fan, bro. Like, yeah. He it's was cold. supposed to do a show here this year, but had to cancel it. I was gonna go. COVID. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, how many? That's three. Yeah, that's three. Um, gotta add DVIC in there too. Um, who's last? Man, that's a hard one. Who's last? Let's go with um, let's go with Mind Design. Yeah. Yeah, he's cold yeah. too. Okay. We're, yeah, cuz it's fire, bro. I like I like I like your list, man. I yeah. like your list. Yeah. Think that's a think that's my solid five for right now. Yeah, I love mind design, man. Yeah, yeah. Mind design is cold. He's man. crazy. Yeah, he's yeah. insane. I like I like um, you know, I like the the producers to me. Like mind design feels pretty unique. Like, yeah. I don't know that like I hear a lot of people that sound like mind design. <laughs> no, nah, man, he's um he's nice, dude. As, as far as I know, he a lot of stuff he do from scratch, straight off the keys, yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, bro. Like dude, dude, yeah, dude I remember dude is nasty. when I when I came across him, it wasn't the first time I came across him, but I remember like when I had my fanboy moment, it was uh against the clock. Like ten minutes, he had like ten minutes to make a beat, and he oh, did yeah. this against the clock shit, and I was just like, "Oh, that's cool. ten minutes," and it was yeah. crazy. That's ten cool. minutes, and he's I actually think it ended man, up on an like, album. Like what he made on that show ended, ended up, up on an album. album. Like yeah, he's cold, man. Play yeah. a lot of him in the kitchen. Yeah, bro. While I'm cooking this, I give you, um, I give you two honorable mentions, um, Iman Omari. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and knowledge. Now, yeah, for sure, for sure. I listen to them, um, listen to them a whole lot. Yeah, yeah both of them are cold. Nah, that's what's up, man. That's definitely what's up. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, so, uh, so you started the journey rapping. Um, Yeah, man. Like, do you do you feel like do you feel like Ben um, has any type of influence in your creativity? Do you still play the trumpet? Do you or do? Um, Nowhere near as as much as I used to. Okay. Um, If I have a sound in my head that I think might be good on somewhere, then I'll record it real quick. Yeah. um, But other than that, man, I haven't really, I haven't especially. um, improvising, man. I haven't really played with anybody in a long time, yeah, right. yeah. so it's been a minute. Yeah, that the, the, the digital world is kind of taking over for me, bro. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that, though. All right, ain't nothing wrong with that. How do you how do you feel about uh, about collaborating with people? Uh, like, how do you? Or oh, man, is, that, is that like? I know I found myself in a space of not collaborating for a really long time. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, same here, bro. Um, I for for the longest time I felt like no, I need to, you know. I have my own space, and when people kind of come into it and, and bring in their own opinions, it's cool, but this is kind of my art, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, right. But yeah. I, I strayed away from that, though. Usually when I do um, collaborate with people, it's people that I really vibe with. Okay. Um, one of my best friends, he goes by Bezo. Um, man, this dude is cold. I don't know why he don't promote none of his stuff. He'll never be at shows. Yeah. He's always like, yeah, here, play this one, play this one. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so you know, I got a whole bank of stuff me and him did on, um, on the SP. But um, yeah, man. As far as collaborating goes, he's my only success story. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, for real, for real. Um, usually, with, if I'm collaborating with other people, is um, I'm recording them. Maybe they're rapping over one of my beats, and I'll yeah. mix and master. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, that's that's about it on that, man. Beats, bros, and life. life, life, life.